Hello Lullas, welcome back to my channel guys. I hope that you guys have had a fabulous weekend, weekday, whatever day this falls on. I hope today is great for you as well. Yes, I really do mean that though. Um, I know it sounds like a commercial, but I really do hope everybody have their best day and live their best life. Um, in the meantime, if you want to live it a little bit better than mm, it's already been going, hit that subscribe button, click the bell to be a part of the notification squad. Babe, I made that up on the fly. Ah, <laughs> baby, that was kind of that was kind of cute. How I, how I said that. <laughs> Let me make your day a little bit better. Let me put the sugar in your tea. Let me put the ice in your tea. Oh, that's not sugar. Let me put the ice in. Your... Anyway, guys, um, if you're not a part of the Chatterbox, you can join. You do have to be at least 18 years old, and it is four dollars and ninety nine cents a month. And if you're not following me on Facebook, I am on Miss Serenity Smith. It is a Facebook page. All you have to do is click follow. That's where I share when I have available babies. That's where I show share my work only on that page. Um, and then also, guys, if you're not following me on Instagram, follow me on Instagram. That's where I share my work again there, too. I am your girl is really loving this light. I know y'all just probably like, girl, shut up. You've been talking about this forever, but it's like, baby, I never knew I needed this in my life so bad. Ooh, girl, wait. What? Because, baby, it's showing my babies the colors so true to life. I love this for me. I love it for y'all, too, because y'all get to live inside my nursery with me during these videos and pictures. <laughs> baby, they can't stop me now. Ah <laughs> Y'all know I'm sticking my tongue out, eh, 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 shaking my big old bobble head. Eh, 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 eh. But anyway, all right, for real, let me stop getting on people's nerves because people are like, oh, I cannot watch her. She just get on my nerves. But anyway, that is Nori. And I was just here taking pictures of her and I was like, let me do a video of Nori with this new light, baby. Um, And I was... Also, you know me, I'm always in mode to be like, oh, you got to have this because I got it. You got to love this because I love it. I just scratched myself so I know with these perfect lights, girl, that's the other thing. It show all my ash. But I was, you know, I just be loving these armatures and stuff. But see, way back when, I was loving the armatures and everybody was like, oh, uh, uh, I don't want a baby. It's too stiff. Now everybody like sending their baby off to, to walk a mole and shoe pop pain to get them, um, them armatures in there. Cause they realized like, for especially us that do like YouTube and Instagram and it ain't even about that to be honest. Um, I mean, well, that does play a big part. I would be lying. I'm sorry. I got, she got a piece of hair right now. Yeah. I, I would be lying if I didn't say that a lot of it is for that. But mainly for me, I just love being able to pose my baby. So it gives me personal um, gratification when I can just pose them and do all types of stuff with their little legs and arms and stuff like that. So that's, you know, my main thing. Because, I mean, with silicone babies, the realism is in their... Um, the realism is in in the in the sculpt and the you know the the paint job and the full body just having that full body, um, right? But I'm gonna move this over so y'all can see when she wrinkles. Um, but at the same time, um, and you know not being able to not having to worry about see that as she wrinkles. Not uh, having to worry about like putting on like an undershirt because she could just be in a diaper because she's full body. So that's realism all in itself. But being able to pose them, like when they have this full body, I don't care how soft they is and all that. It's usually some type of limit or you got to do all these propping and you got to put them on this and you got to put them up on that to get them to um hold a pose or you know you want to do you know the little leg up type thing and um 
and you, and you can't do that because it's going they you know they're gonna fall down there as you can see it's slowly kind of coming down a little bit because like i said nori is super soft um but and which makes it so cool because it really when you feel it you it just feel like she got a bone and i know a lot of y'all be like oh, it sounds so good mm. The babies, they have a bone. Well, that's the armature actually give them that bone feel. So, um, it just feels really realistic. I love being able to pose. So, if you're on the fence and you're like, am I going to like this? Like I said it many times before. If you're a person, and then this is her little jelly belly. See, it's firmer up here. And then it's like, squish, squish, squish. There. Um, if you're a person that's on the fence about armatures, but you know you love uh, posing your babies, you know you love taking pictures of your babies, you're going to love armatures. It takes you a while to get used to them and, you know, feel comfortable with them, but you're going to love them. Now, I will say, for me, I have had some armatures that I was like, oh God, this armature is going to come through. And it feel weird, like it feel like it's like a wire or something. And 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 with those, I did feel a little bit uncomfortable. But um, when you have a, a armature that just you know move nicely, flow nicely, it's a it's a different uh, feeling, and you you feel a lot more. A lot more confident with with those so that's what you know that's what I I really love about the armatures it's just so much I can do with the baby and not you know I, I and just leave them I don't have to keep you know if I try to put another baby up here that doesn't have an armature I gotta do so so much and you could tell when an armature is kind of on the hard side and hard to move when you know the people when people can't you can't really move it with just one you know one hand they got to take it and they and it's like they really like forcing it you know I just move I mean she moves effortless and I love that like if I want to you know take her hand and move it back I can and then if I when I move it back over I just you know so it's pretty cool. I mean, and I know like some people are like, oh, you know, well, babies don't have their legs up or they don't this and all that and stuff. Well, I don't know. Maybe my kids were, my grandbabies were uh, just different. But <laughs> I'm telling y'all, I got videos of my grandbaby that was this size. Um, she was like not not even three pounds yet, and she was in an incubator actually. And I'm like, what is she doing? Like, I thought it was like the craziest thing. And I know I tell this story all the time because I'm so mind blown by it. I was like, it was like some ripplets, believe it or not, stuff. She was, um, sorry, just spray her hair so she had a little wet on her but um I was she was moving her feet all up and she even she even had her feet like up to her mouth and stuff and I was like oh my god like like how is she moving like that and you know it was just so crazy like it was she couldn't even be uh touched or held yet because she was so little and when they be little um their skin is so thin and it could like rub their skin off and stuff so her mom wasn't even able to touch her just yet and she was doing all this stuff and I was like oh I guess she thinks she's still in the stomach I don't know but it was so fascinating to see so babies do you know pull their legs up and do all this craziness um and of course they don't keep them up for a long a long periods of time or stay you know in one position because they're alive and they're moving these are dolls but I just love being able to capture that in photos or you know do a video and I can you know, just move them around. So, anyway. That's my little girl. So, Nori, like, Nori is my forever, ever, ever baby. And I cannot 
tell y'all how much I love this sculpt. And I am eventually, when I get to a good place, if the addition don't be shut down or closed, I am going to get me a boy. I, I just decided I just got to have me a boy and a girl. Um, <clears throat> and, and the boy will be definitely a no sale too because I have one boy out one other nori out that I painted and I, I told that customer that I would not paint that baby again unless I paint one for myself. And so um <clears throat> that would that would be it. Other than um well I'll 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 talk about that at a later date. But anyway, so that's that. I'm excited. Hope you guys enjoyed seeing Nori again. Um, I was just, I gotta figure out what she's gonna wear today. I, a lot of times I just want her in her little diaper, but I do like to see her in clothes too. So I'm gonna find her something cute that can fit her little tiny self in my clothes stash. And we will, you guys will see her in pictures later. All right, thanks for watching guys. Bye-bye.